I'm not joking you, one of my most favorite activities in life is oiling and maintaining wooden cutting board surfaces. Because it's one of those things, like bike wheel balancing is another one of those things, where you can go as deep with it as you want to go. You can give it a quick, lightly oiled rag pass and call it good. Or you can get into all sorts of hours worth of oils and waxes and things you could do. It's all up to you. And it's all, it's not like there's such a super right or wrong way to do things. It's just about keep your wood protected from water. And however you want to achieve that and wherever you're setting the bar for yourself uh, for that level of protection in the wood. Well, this is a booze block table, walnut. It's one of the nicest pieces of furniture I've ever bought in my life. Maybe the nicest or tied, tied with the dining table for the two nicest pieces of furniture I've ever bought. Uh, and anyways, I just love oiling boards. And so my products of choice lately, at least, I might try other things later, but this uh, Macy's Place Wood Butter it's just uh, mineral oil and beeswax. And then booze block mystery oil. What's it made out of? Well, it's a mystery. It's just a food grade oil. It seems pretty premium and I like it. So I've already waxed this with the wood butter uh, multiple times and it looks great every time, but the wood was so dry from the kiln when I first got it, it's already absorbed like layers and layers of the oil and the wax. The oil, I seem to be wasting it. I think this whole bottle, I think that whole bottle went into just this countertop already. And you would expect it to look more oily if it sucked up that much than it does now. This still looks really dry to me. So I was focusing on the wood butter for a while and I've gone through and I've gone through like that much of the wood butter. Some of that I use for my ax handle, uh, but I've been focusing on the wood butter to try to fill up the pores more. Uh, that's how it looks when it's oily, it's beautiful. To try to fill up, clog the pores more with the beeswax, kind of form the uh, resistive protective layer. Uh, but I'm gonna go in now, Just this is all just for fun. Like. This doesn't even need to be maintained. It's it's good enough right now. Water does beat up a little bit on it, but I, I think it can look way better and even more like water repellent. So we're gonna go in with the oil today. It's mainly just for fun. Like I said, this is one of my favorite activities. So it's just so relaxing. And then uh, you always get a really good result. It, it always feels really worth it. I just do paper towels, which do have a drawback of, um, they leave fibers. Try to rub it with the grain in, in such a way that's not gonna like unnecessarily pull those fibers out. And you can just see how beautiful this looks in that sunlight. This is like one of those things, like uh, there's this meme of like middle-aged men who like therapeutically just like wash their car every night <laughs> water down the hose down the driveway and wash your car even though it's already clean uh this is like one of those things for me this is one of my midlife things just bringing out the best of wood and knowing that it's protected and it's going to be functional for you and then just the sheer beauty. Just looks beautiful, the color that you can get. So you can see a lot of those paper towel fibers in there if you're looking closely. But they'll mostly, I think they'll just kind of dry up and kind of blow away, dust off. Not like too worried about it. A nice, a better microfiber cloth would be good. I, I've also used a sponge I had dedicated just for this task. All right, that's one coat, one coat in the books and it's so thirsty. You can already see some of the spots I hit are already looking, already drying a little bit. It's so thirsty. 
Like what it really needs is uh, place the whole countertop surface itself in like hefty uh, contractor bags with a gallon of this mystery oil. With, I have gallon bottles of it too. And then like pour a couple gallons in a contractor bags and just have complete immersion with the plastic tightly wrapped around it and just let it sit there for like a month. That's that's a little excessive, probably at least just like sit there a few days. <clears throat> that would be outstanding. And then that would deeply soak in because every time you apply to the surface here, it's so dry, it just keeps soaking in and in and in forever. But I know how it'll look when it gets uh, quenched, when it's had enough to rehydrate with the oil uh, all the way through practically. Um, then you get uh, you can get a really nice finish and it's not just being sucked out from the dryness of the wood, it's actually, uh, you can make a really nice waxy finish. And I thought this would have had it by now, but th this cabin is also really dry. We run this noisy ass heater that you can hear right now. And it, it's constantly very, very dry in here. So I think he, it's possible the table's just drying out over and over and over. So that's gonna be the first coat and we're gonna proceed with the plumbing cleanup. By the time we move that back into position, this island, probably do another coat, but this was just a for fun thing. I have a lot of fun doing that, cathartic. We've got the super rainy day, but uh, the daffodils popped up and here's what we've been working on. Just cleaning up the grounds around the chalet. All that stuff you see on the ground, all those trunks, that's what I've been chopping down with the chainsaw. Every so often, every few years, we're gonna have to do this, like just pulling brushy stuff out. So I've been uh, taking loads of that and I'm gonna take a pass around the whole cabin property and any last chainsawing stuff I see to do to make it more convenient to look at and for kids and for the guests. There's a uh, thunderstorm shit going on. It's like nine hours later or whatever. I wiped off the excess with a paper towel. You could just leave it there for another day or two till it soaked in, but I'm in a hurry. Got the excess off, going with the grain, and just getting a soft old rag here. Kind of getting in some buffing, just getting that surface oil off that ends up on your elbows when you put your elbows on the counter or on your laptop feet. If you put your laptop on, just that surface oil, just buff, work it in. You can see it in the light getting worked in. That is just gorgeous, simply beautiful. So we'll finish this side. You don't need to see all that. Then your last pass, just with the grain, just your final little alignment. Get all the wood grain smoothed down and aligned. And kind of buff out last any fingerprints or anything that's come through. That's a walnut butcher block, boys.